Hello, YouTube handbag lovers. A big shout out and thank you to Dennis Dash for making a request for me to make a video on comparing two Louis Vuitton bags. The videos, the, the video she requested was for comparison of this Palermo GM, this handbag right here, and the Totally MM, this handbag right here. And I'm just going to tell you, you've got two great bags. You cannot go wrong with either one. They withstand wear and tear. They last. I've had this handbag for three years. And outside of the Honey Patina, which is my personal preference, so I'm just in heaven with it, and the softness that is takes over after owning this a while, it looks quite in good shape, and they both stay that way. This was my very first Louis Vuitton, so she is very near and dear to me. And when I did the Shopaholic or the Purseaholic video, um, my go-to purse was this totally. And I think a lot of it because it was my first, so you just never forget. And I love it that because of the 10 inch drop, and I love it because it just fits so nicely on my shoulder. And it's comfortable, so if I'm wearing jeans, I'm gonna run out to the store, and I'm just gonna grab a bag really quickly, or it, interestingly if I'm feeling stressed and there's a lot going on I often will go to this bag I know it's weird it's like I don't know um, when I was a kid and you have your little security blanket this is like my security bag and as I say that if you're in a dilemma Dennis Dash on deciding which bag to purchase whether it's the totally or the P or this Palermo I would say as much as I love the totally I would say the Palermo because it has more options with the handles Still fits nicely on your shoulders here, and and it has the cross body option, which I like. I like the option. So if I had to pick, it would be the Palermo. I do find the Palermo to be kind of big sometimes and feels a little obnoxious. But the comment that my little 11 year old, she just had her birthday, uh, incidentally, uh, she said, Mom, inside it's so big, but it doesn't look so big when you carry it. So. I don't know, she's quite educated on her handbags. <laughs> so maybe maybe there's some truth to that. But as far as comfort and around town, it is this totally. Now, another comparison, it, this was interesting, I was looking at the measurements to share with you. And on the website, when you look at Louis Vuitton, a lot of times when you show one, like I pulled up the, to the totally, it'll say complete your uh, bag with, and they'll have usually accessories or sunglasses or something to go with your bag and they had the Palermo with it, which I thought was interesting. I thought it was interesting that Denise or Dennis Dash asked about because it was a, uh, they are, I guess, similar enough that they thought they would complement one another. But, okay, if you're looking for a bag that holds the most, where you can absolutely throw everything in, the Palermo is going to be the winner yet again. Uh, I'm gonna show you, if I may, in another video, I showed everything that would fit into the uh, Palermo, which actually surprised me because I started experimenting with the laptop and things like that. And with all of my items, the laptop does fit in there. It does get heavy to me, but on the shoulder, the weight distributes well enough that that works well. But I haven't shown you with the totally on that, so uh, let me do that now. I have it stuffed and full of bags, and that's how I like to keep it in my closet. And somebody, and I didn't write the name down, requested that I show how I do my bags, but there's somebody else who does so much better. But I'm actually working on it, and I, I may get the nerve to show you on how I store my bags because I am really careful with them. Okay, this is what the totally looks like inside. And because I did get the measurements, let me share it with you. The totally, it's right under 17 inches across and 12 inches on up and down and then seven inches it's more like 6.7 inches but I, I it's just right under seven inches on this if i were to hold it up to the palermo you can see that clearly the palermo is bigger now they have the gm on the totally if i were to do it all again i would have gotten that because this is a tote and i like big it's like 18 inches wide but i have it in the mm and i'm making it work for running around town it really is a good size I do like the height of the totally better. It's 12 inches tall and not the 14 inches. But what I failed to mention, because the Palermo is 14 inches tall, it holds everything on the bottom, leaving room for a scarf or a jacket easily to fit on inside. You really could pack this for a weekend bag. <laughs> That'd be easy to do. Okay, what I haven't shown again, on the inside of the totally, you have the D-ring, you have one long pocket, and you have two side pockets here. 
And of course on the outside you have two additional pockets, which I like, but it's easy to kind of remember, forget where your items are. But let me show you what fits in here, because this is the only downfall I really see to the Totally MM, even though it holds a lot. If you, no, I'll show you. Okay, it, of course the, my big wallet goes in when I'm around town, and I'm going to have my uh, sunglasses. This isn't complicated, I'm making it hard. Here is a little perfume thing, I usually keep that on the side. And here is my pochette, which I hold a bunch of accessories. And being the summertime, I have a bug bite with me, and I have a lot of other little things to keep with me, band-aids and things like that. I always keep uh, wet wipes with me. Not always, but I try to. I'm always sorry when I don't, because that's when I need them. And I'm going to stick the wet wipes just in one of the little side pockets. And then I have, this is my makeup bag, and this is where the problem is for the Totally MN. You have the pochette and you have another makeup bag. And you have a bigger wallet. When you do three big items like that, to me you have to be a little bit careful in how you put them in the bag because it'll bulge a little bit and when, when you zip it up, it doesn't look strained, but it, it doesn't look attractive. So that's the problem. I almost think if I could take use it like the mini pochette with this instead it works better so when i use the pm if i still want to carry a lot i have to be a little bit careful i'm going to throw in the tissues and i'm going to throw in my pen case and this is what she looks like i don't i'm not going to put in the ipad but you could easily fit that in and it not really affect because it is wide enough it doesn't affect the size of it rather so I'm going to zip it up and I'm going to show you with those things in what she looks like. So still plenty of room. Weight distributes well. You can see it on top. I did fail to add the iPhone, which isn't going to matter. It's not going to take up any room. It easily fits on one of the inside pockets. But I have this opened for my notes. <laughs> this is my little agenda, which I've done a review on. And I like to take it with me. But when, by the time I put that in, to me, it looks a little bit bulky on top with the zipper. And so, the way you see how that lays flat, it's not as attractive to me. It looks a little bit strained. Like, I'm, like it's not, it's too much stuff in there. So I have to go without the agenda or the smaller pochette, the small pochette instead of another makeup bag, and then it works well. So. I might have been more confusing on this and helpful. I love both bags. This is a favorite bag, but if I were going to purchase one that I wanted for it to work for shopping, for um, travel, for everyday use, because of this crossbody strap, I would go with this Palermo. And so I feel like they're both win-win. Um, I told you a little bit of history with the Totally, and with this Palermo, I did buy this gently used on eBay from a very reputable buyer, and all I can say is look at their feedback. You want them to have several, you want them to have, at, well, 99% positive feedback, but a lot of them have 100% feedback, and once they've sold a bunch of items, it's very impressive to me. That means they're doing their job well. I also see other items they're selling. Do they sell a bunch of other Louis Vuittons? Do they have authentic written in there? And do they have the date code that shows, um, which will be in every bag? And I'm not educated on where it is on the Palermo. Yes, I am. I just got lucky and saw it inside one of these pockets. It's gonna be very difficult to see, but there's a little tag and it will have the date. And I make sure that they get the date and it has the numbers because it'll indicate where it's from, what year it was made. This one was made in 2007. I don't mind a five-year-old Louis Vuitton because it's like new of anything else. And she clearly had taken care of it. The smell had a perfumey smell, which I didn't like. And you get very spoiled when you get the new Louis Vuitton, that leather smell, how rich and awesome that is. But to save and to pay just a little over half the retail price it was worth it because I don't smell the perfume smell anymore and I love it and I don't use it as often because it is quite large probably was confusing but I'm trying thank you for the request thank you so much blessings to everybody out there Mwah.